Hello everyone and welcome to Sully's Card Shop and today is our last episode of 2019 and of course it is going to be a baseball card battle royal for 2019, the 2019 baseball card battle royal as we call it. Um, I was an old wrestling fan from back in the 1980s and of course whenever you'd have a battle royal you had all of these different wrestlers in there and only one was going to win, you had to go over the top rope or whatever it was. Uh, good times. And so I'm going to do it with baseball cards uh, today, although they're not going to fight. I don't want to destroy them. So uh, what we're going to have is a competition between the various retail packs of, of 2019 to see which will give me the most hits. Uh, and I, I don't have all the retail packs. I, I, I failed to get a few of them. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up any Heritage, and there's a couple others that I didn't get. Opening day, I don't care about those, but... Um, but I got the, uh, a great many of them. Actually, there's about 16 different uh, cards that are going to be used in this Battle Royal. So, um, including uh, things like Series 1 and Series 2 from the year. There's there's the uh, Also, we have our, our Update Series. We have Topps Gallery is going to be in here. Topps Fire. Allen and Ginter, Leather and Lumber, blah, blah, blah. They're all in here. There's also, because I didn't bring any, get any Heritage, are going, I'm going to be having a special guest uh, pack from uh, from years past. And the reason is, I mean, crud, that always happened in the Battle Royals. You always had some wrestler that hadn't been out there for a, for a long time, and they just show up and run out there, and everyone's all excited to see him, and then they get eliminated pretty quick or whatever. Anyhow, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I do have them in order. Now, what is a hit? I first need to explain that. What is a hit? A hit is going to be a rookie card. It is going to be a Hall of Famer. It can be a relic. It can be an autograph or a combination of the two. And also our stars, which I'm going to call our award winners from last from this past year. So our MVPs, Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. Those will be hits. Our Cy Youngs, Justin Verlander and Jacob deGrom. And then also I'm going to throw in the batting title, batting champions, Christian Yelich. And Tim Anderson, which I don't really consider Tim Anderson a superstar, but um, he did win the batting title, so hey. So if we get any of those six players, those will also be hits. And so every every pack, I, sometimes I have multiple packs of certain ones, but some, you know, like Leather Lumber only has ten cards in, the, in its box. Well, that's, that's as many chances as they get. All the way up to... Um, Let's see, Alan Ginter, I have 42, they have 42 chances, Optic has 32, and so forth. So we'll start out with the smallest and go up to the, the to the biggest. That's usually what happens to the Battle Royals as well. Usually the guys that, you know, maybe don't, won't last as long will go first, and then, you know, your champions will come later on down the line. But anyway, so we'll start off with Leather and Lumber. We'll see how many hits we can get out of Leather and Lumber. Let me get out the world's worst uh, X-Acto knife. And Leather and Lumber is opened. Didn't bring my trash can over here. I wish I would have. All right, what do we have here? Leather Lumber has 10 cards in the box. And these I've had these packs for a while, and then I've just kept keeping them together uh, for waiting for this moment. So we have five cards in each of these packs. We'll try to be as quick as we can to get through this. This will not be a 10-minute show, uh, unfortunately. But it's okay. A lot of different cards are going to be seen here. Leather Lumber, I, this is actually the second that I've opened of, for the year. I did not, I only opened up one earlier this year. Not too completely impressed with it, but we shall see. So here we have Joey Votto, AJ Pollock. Remember, we're looking for rookies, and here's something right here. This, ooh, look at this, a signed Jeff McNeil rookie card. That is a relic and a, a well, wait a second. Is that a relic or just a signature? That is five out of 50. Had a great rookie year this year. Contender for the batting title. Autograph is guaranteed by Panini. So it is an autograph. So there's a hit right there. There's our first hit of the day. Very nice one. Matt Carpenter and then Javier Baez. So no other hits in that pack. But let's see if they can do well on this one. That's a really nice start though. That's a nice autograph. I was big on McNeil. I like those rookies getting their shots. There's another Javier Baez. Let's see what we got here. So we have a Bat Patrol Juan Soto. Nice card, but not a hit. Here is a Chris Sale, D. Gordon, Cal Ripken. There's a Hall of Famer. There's another hit. And we've got Javier Baez. So two hits for Leather and Lumber for today. So I'm going to write that down. Leather and Lumber gets two hits. So 
But man, boy, this was a nice hit though. I really like that hit. That Jeff McNeil signature right there, sweet. And it's a rookie card too, by the way. No, it does not count twice. Okay, who is next? All right, we've got. I'm sorry, I got a fix on here on my phone. There we go. All right, who is next on our list? So first was Leather and Lumber, and here comes the Stadium Club. I only had a few Stadium Clubs. Um, if I can find them in my stacks of cards over here. There they are right here at the bottom. Of course, I like the Stadium Club. I enjoy the, the photography on them and so forth. Uh, and there's lots of Hall of Famers as well mixed in with this with these bunches. So we'll see what we can find. Maybe we'll find that Shane Bieber Air card or whatever. There's a Cole Calhoun. Josh James rookie card. There's a hit. We've got Joey Gallo. Fernando Tatis. That's red foil as well. That is nice. I like that. I don't have that one. Good little rookie card, rookie card right there. That's two hits. And then there's John Lester. Not a hit. Uh, by the way, if you were wondering, these guys have 15 different chances. So, so far they've already tied our leadoff hitters. The uh, There's Corey Kluber right there. Leather and Lumber. There's Jeff Bagwell. Another Hall of Famer with the beard. So Bagwell, there's three hits. So now they've taken the lead. Here's Byron Buxton, Miguel Sano, and Lance McCullers Jr. All right, so three hits now as Stadium Club has taken over the lead. And then lastly, we've got Carlos Santana, Marcelo Zuna, Christian Yelich. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, that's a hit. I apologize. That's a batting champion. Christian Yelich is a hit. Corey Seager, and Duke Snyder. Very nice. All right, so not too bad for Stadium Club. With 15 different cards, they wind up with how many hits? Five hits right there. A couple of Hall of Famers, a couple of rookies, and a batting champion. So there goes the lead right there. Stadium Club with five. All right, who's next? Next up is Top's High Number. I like these. All right, top side number. I got a fat pack right here. That's not right. That's 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 the update series. Sorry, I missed that one. Here we are. Here's top side number right here. Top side number 16 chances. So just one more than Stadium Club. Let's see how they do. I don't know, man. Five is that's tough. But there's usually a lot of rookies in these packs. So we'll see. Jordy Mercer, Matt Shoemaker. We're not measuring the rookie by who they are. It could be you say you Kikuchi, or it could be Vlad Jr. Doesn't matter. There's Brandon Brennan. There's a rookie. One. Junior Guerra, Alex Verdugo. Here is a scratch off of Trey Mancini. Here's a Cy Young winner. There's two hits. Scott Alexander with a big mustache. Drew Pomerantz, now Padre. Nick King. Here's Brandon Braden Bishop. There's three hits. Two rookies right there. Sam Gaviglio, Keston Hira. And Cal Quantrill, nice Keston Hira right there. That's my first Keston Hira from this set, anyways. So one, two, three, four, five for the top high number. So they are tied right now at Stadium Club in their hits. So, so far, they're leading the Battle Royal. Leather Lumber eliminated a long time ago. All right, here comes the Chronicles. This is one of my favorite sets of the year. I still wish that Panini could put the... Uh, the logos on these things that would be really nice make these cards even better but this was still a nice set the different designs and so forth uh really thought they were pretty sharp and i really think that this is going to be a favorite although they have let's see they've got 23 i believe it's 23 chances i think it is what it what it is the count uh to win we'll see how it goes so we've got four packs right here four regular packs and then this special pack right there. So let's see. By the way, I was going to do this show as a live stream, but I still don't know how to do that. So uh, we'll figure that out one day. All right. Here we go. There it starts off with a rookie. Austin Riley gets us going. Who's next? Carter Keeble, another rookie. There's two rookies. Aloy Jimenez, three rookies. Sweet. And then we have another rookie card, four. This is uh, Darwinson uh, Hernandez. And then... Trevor Story. All right. That, that's not a rookie right there, but boy, all right off the bat, four rookies right off the bat. That's pretty sharp. Eloy Jimenez is one of them. Boy, White Sox, I'm telling you what, they're really building something. We'll see what they do next year. Still going to be tough as the Yankees are going to be probably the favorites. Yeah, well, and the Astros are still going to be tough too. Cody Bellinger, there's an MVP. 
Shohei Otani hoping to come back and do something good. Carter Keboom, rookie card. They have now taken the lead. That's six for them. Whit Merrifield and Carter Keboom, seven. Boy, that obsidian, that, those obsidian cards are really sharp in the Chronicles uh, packs. I really like those a lot. All right, let's see. Really doing well. There's a future Hall of Famer, but not a Hall of Famer right now, so it does not count as it. Here's Max Scherzer, future Hall of Famer as well. You say Kikuchi, I say a hit. There's Miguel Andujar, Anthony Rizzo, and Ichiro. Ichiro, future Hall of Famer. All right, I don't, and I've lost count, by the way, of how many hits that the Chronicles have gotten. But, boy, they, they're going to be tough to beat, even with as few cards as they have in their packs or in their boxes. They're, they're going to be tough. Adam Jones headed to the Orient. Oh, here's some. Here's a hit. This is Luis Urias, and this is a relic. He's Luis, Luis Urias, now a Milwaukee Brewer, by the way. Padres dealt him away. Here's Alex Bregman, one of my favorites. Should have been MVP, in my opinion. Here's Kopech. There's a rookie, and Kyle Tucker's a rookie. And then our last pack right here. But you know what? I mean, it's tough to argue against Mike Trout. I just think that, you know, Bregman stayed healthy. But, yeah, I'm also from Houston, so I will go that way. But I, I think the world of Mike Trout, though. Here, Austin Riley, another rookie card right here. Another Austin Riley rookie card, in fact. Shohei Otani and Shohei Otani. Hey, all right. So let's see what we pulled in for the Chronicles. Good golly. Chronicles is came in and just dominated. Austin Riley, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is going to be tough to beat. That is twelve. Four Chronicles. So they blow everyone else out of the water. In fact, I'm going to move these guys back a little bit. Right now, the leader in the clubhouse is the... Let me try to put this down a little bit so you can see a little better. There we go. Somewhat. Chronicles has the lead. Let's see who's next. The Gypsy Queen. Oh, Gypsy Queen. I actually like Gypsy Queen. It is the other one I, that I dislike. that uh, The Alan Ginter. They, they look so much alike to me. I know that they're not, but Gypsy Queen, by the way, if you were wondering, has 24, I believe is what it is. We have Andrew Benintendi, Joe Panic, Taiwan Walker, Odubel Herrera, Carlos Carrasco, and Ryan Healy. And these are tough to see if, they are, if they're rookies, because they have it up at the top usually, and it usually sits in the background. But no rookies, no hits in that one at all. Not a good start for Gypsy Queen. Uh, but they, I've seen a few Hall of Famers in these packs, by the way. And they do have a special insert pack as well, which we will go through in just a second. And they are green parallels. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, we've got Chris Archer, Eduardo Escobar, Trevor Bauer, Matt Davidson. Is this a rookie? Nope, and I'm not going to try to say his name. And there's Carlos Santana. So no hits yet. I think I've, I'm, I've not seeing any hits on these. or no, not seeing a rookie card on any of those. That name, that one seemed like it was a rookie. I didn't recognize the name, but whatever. Rick Porcello, ben, or Ken Giles, sorry. Paul DeYoung, Jan Gomes, Jose Peraza, and Mike Fires, favorite of the Houston Astros right now. I have not seen a hit yet. I'm gonna go back and look at these real quick to make sure that I'm not missing that rookie card. Like I said, it's pretty light up in the, the up in the corners. You can't really see them. There's Victor Robles, uh, Jose Martinez, Jameson Tyon or Tylon, Chris Davis. That's sort of a special card. Cole Calhoun and Matt Carpenter. Boy, is it, are these just all duds? I mean, I haven't gotten any cards in there that I'm really even interested in at all. Let's look at the green parallel. See what we got here. We got Zach Greinke, Houston Astro, future Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Zach Adam uh, Eaton and Avisail Garcia, right? Garcia is his last name. Yeah, Garcia. Boy, there were like no hits in that at all. Is that accurate? Let's see. I'm not seeing anything on any of these cards that indicate there's any rookie cards or whatsoever. Ooh, man. So this is like one of those battle royals where the wrestler comes into the ring and he comes through the ropes and then he gets clotheslined by somebody and he goes right back over the top rope and is like not even in the match for a second. 
like Luke Williams or uh, was it Santino Morella? So that is no hits whatsoever for our friends at Gal at Gypsy Queen. Ooh, that is bad. Sorry, Gypsy Queen. All right, next we have the Chrome Update, which I bought just the other day. They are tough to find. And in fact, they're so tough to find, I can't find them in my stack of cards. Here they are. The Chrome Updates. I don't have a lot of these because, like I said, they are tough to find. Right now, the leader again in the clubhouse is Chronicles. They've got 12. Let's see if Chrome Update can come in and beat them. I bought the little uh, packs here. Chrome Update, by the way, is going to have, from what I've got here, Chrome Update is going to have 28 chances. So let's see what we've got. 28 chances. There's Bryce Harper on the very back, but that's not a hit. There's a hit. Chris Paddock. Nice. Nice. I like those Padres. Gary Sanchez. King Griffey Jr. Hall of Famer. There's another hit. So two hits out of that pack. That's a good start after dealing with Gypsy Queen, who had zero hits. But let's see. Can they give a run? Uh, Gypsy Queen a run? Or not Gypsy Queen. Uh, Chronicles run for their money. Here's JT Real Muto. Charlie Morton. Here's another hit. Harold Ramirez. Nolan Arenado. Nice card, but not a hit. Okay. Remember Tim Anderson, Cody Bellinger, Justin Verlander, Jacob deGrom. Uh, those guys are all hits. All of our award winners are hits. There's a Hall of Famer on the back right there. That'll be a hit. Once we get to there's Will Smith. Nice. Kyle Quantrill. Nice. Chris Paddock. Nice. Frank Robinson. Nice. All four of those cards are hits. Here's our special Chrome Update Series cards coming in the white pack. Here we go right there. Oh, there's a hit. Kevin Biggio and Paul Goldschmidt. So Kevin Biggio is a hit. Why did I not put those hits with their hits? Let's see. You know, secretary in here to keep track of all these. All right. And now let's go to our other pack real quick. So pretty good shot, I think. That Chrome Update's got a really good shot at beating... The 12 set up by Chronicles. Let's see. They're building really nicely. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Family business, but it's not a hit. Chris Bryant. Here's a rookie card. Josh Naylor and Steve Carlton. Another hit. All right. like that Acuna, though. That will be going into the PC. Here's Roberto Clemente. I see on the back. That's a hit. Austin Meadows. Here's Yusei Kikuchi. Will Smith again, and Roberto Clemente. I think that they've taken the lead. I have not been counting. Are you counting? I am not counting. All right. Let's see what we got. Cody Bellinger. That's a hit. That's an MVP. Nick Senzel is a hit. Each row is a future Hall of Famer, but not a hit. But Roberto Alomar is a Hall of Famer. That is a hit. And then last but least, we have our white pack right here. Another Cody Bellinger. Chris Bryant is not a hit, and then that security thing. So, let's see how we did. I lost count, but it's a pretty good little stack right here. Will it beat the 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 hits right there for the, uh, what is that? For our Topps Chrome, where are we at? I'm looking at my list here. 17. So they take the lead right now over Chronicles. So Chronicles in there as a leader for a good little bit, but now our leader in the clubhouse is the Topps up or is the Chrome update. All right. Who is next? Optic is next. I bought two fat packs of Optic right here. Optic has 32 cards all total right here. These two packs combined. Let's see how they do. All right, we have Eugenio Suarez, Blake Snell, David Bodie, Herman Marquez, Trey Mancini, Whit Merrifield, Jesus Aguilar there's a rookie right here, Kevin Newman, very nice. He had a good year this year for Pittsburgh. Aaron Judge, Jacob Nix is a hit, that's two. J.D. Martinez, Josh Hader, Hader. Jacob DeGrom, that's a hit. Anthony Rendon should have been a hit. Caleb Ferguson is a hit. And then Blake Snell. All right. Rendon had a fantastic year. Definitely uh, worthy of an MVP nod, but Cody Bellinger got it as well. Bellinger, uh, he had a great year, too. I'm not saying he's not. doesn't deserve to be MVP. And I can't get this back open. 
I tried to give everyone as many cards as possible. Uh, well, of course, watching the budget. David Bodie, Herman Marquez again, Trey Mancini, Whit Merrifield, Tyler O'Neill. That's not a rookie. Michael Conforto, Felix Hernandez, Trevor Story, Ryan O'Hearn, Mookie Betts, Aaron Judge. Love those cards. Jake Flaherty, Walker Bueller, very nice. Matt Carpenter and Jake Bowers. So definitely not 17 like we had with the tops or with the Chrome update. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six hits out of that pack right there. Now we will go to who is number who is next? Eighth in line is going to be tops update. These bad boys right here. These usually have a lot of rookies sitting in them. Sinzel, Guerrero, Tatis, uh, Hira, Keyboom, Chavis. Those are usually some of the, the regulars I see in these packs right here. Sometimes some Hall of Famers are in, in, inserted in there as well. Joe Kelly. There's a rookie right there, Mitch Keller. Junior Guerra, by the way. These guys have how many? 34. Tommy Edmond. Uh, nope, Freddie Freeman and uh, Harper. There's Paddock. There's Guerrero. There's Brennan. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here's Jose Iglesias. Uh, Reds, Tanaka, Pacific, whatever. Uh, there's Bork and who is that? Noel. There's a, oh, wow, that is a rookie card. Sorry. Rookie, rookie. Clayton Kershaw, future Hall of Famer. There's Doc Gooden. There's Love Lady. Oh, this is looking good for these guys. Babe Ruth, Hall of Famer. is one of those Hall of Fame inserts. Wilmer Flores, Avila, no longer Padre Alonso. Dwight Smith Jr. Chris Bryant, Pilar, Carlos Santana, Edwin Diaz, hoping to bounce back this year. Shelby Miller, Huang is a rookie card. There's a rookie card of, uh, I can't say his name, Mike Trout, Xander Bogarts. And James McCann. All right. Quite a few right there. I don't think that they beat Topps Chrome, though. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nope. Sorry, he got stuck in there. I thought I had an extra card in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Very close, but no cigar. So fourteen for tops update. Still the leader in the clubhouse is Chrome. Let's go to our ninth competitor. It is Top Series Two. Was that the what I just did? Did I totally mess up my stuff? Nope. Here's Top Series Two right here. Top Series 2 hiding back here. Also a fat pack. Top Series 2 with 34 chances as well. Not too big on Series 1 or Series 2, honestly, this year. Rowdy Telez. There's Nomar Mazara, now a White Sox. Wil Wilmer Font. Marcelo Zuna, free agent. Here's a f I'm going to take these future stars as well. Also the All-Star Rookie Cup cards. I will take those as well. So those will be hits. Soroka, Greg Garcia, Caleb Ferguson is a hit. Uh, Tucker Barnhart, Chance Cisco. There's Brandon Woodruff, All Star. Corey Knebel. Here's Francisco Mejia, Future Star. It's tough to see the Future Star, so if I miss one, sorry. Here, oh, that's a nice card. I like that. King Griffey Jr. Who is this? Mike Trout, also a hit. Milky Betts, Dawell Lugo, Garcia is a rookie as well. J.D. Davis. There's Alfaro. Brandon Morrow, Alex Bregman, yeah, Pedro Baez, Chris Owings, Jolice Chassin, Charlie Culberson, Noah Syndergaard, Thor, uh, Addison Russell trying to get things back together, Franklin Barreto, Tyler Maley, Chris Shaw, Jacoby Jones, Brock Holt, Juris Familia, and Brian Johnson. Yeah, not a lot out of that one, I don't think. Maybe 8 to 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 out of that group. So, man, so far, our ninth competitor got 9 hits. So far, Tops Chrome Update still is the leader in the clubhouse. So, yeah, there, like, that's Bowman. Uh, some Bowman I didn't get either. I just thought about that. That's okay. All right, who's next? So, we got 9. Our 10th competitor is going to be Top Series 1. 
34 in this one. I am not expecting much out of this pack at all. So series 1 was worse than Series 2. Of the group, the, uh, the update was far the best. Trey Turner, Astro Killer, Adam Jones, Caleb Joseph, Sean Doolittle, Sam Tuivailala. Yeah, Jose Ramirez, Luke Weaver. There's a rookie, Jeff McNeil. All right, I'll take that. There's a hit. Chance Adams. Now uh, he got traded. I forget who, who he got traded. Andrew Kashner, Brad Boxberger, Mookie Betts, Logan Morrison, Alex Col Colome, Adalis, right? Ad Adalis Garcia, Wrigley Field, Ronald Acuna Jr., very good. Jose Abreu. Here's an. No, it's not an autograph. I was getting a little excited right there. There's a dynamic duo. Here's a future star, Lourdes Guriel Jr., Danny Duffy, Kyle Baraclaw. Is that a rookie? No. Kirby Yates, great closer right there. Chris Davis, great strikeout king right there. <clears throat> and he hits home runs every now and then. Jake Odorizzi, there's a future star. Brad Peacock, Orlando Arcia, Sonny Gray, Jose Urena, Ryan Zimmerman, and lastly is Lance or Justin Verlander. That's a hit. It's our first Verlander of the day. How many do we have right here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Hey, you know what? That's more than Gypsy Queen. In fact, if you get one, that's more than Gypsy Queen. All right. Who is next? Number 11 is the Diamond Kings. Oh, I've been waiting to open this one. I love these cards. I think these are beautiful. Love the artistry on them. I'm guessing they're not one of the top packs of collectors, but I sure like it. And, and there's a lot of Hall of Famers in these. There's a ton of Hall of Famers in these packs. And not just your, your big name guys. I mean, you know, I've got like two or three Walter Alstons out of these. And, and of course, a great manager, but collectors aren't out, out there going, I gotta get me a Walter Alston. All right, here we go. These are the Diamond Kings right here. By the way, Diamond Kings have uh, 35 chances. So just one more than the top Series 1 and Series 2. So we'll see what they get. I, I think they're going to be tough, and their packs are tough to open, apparently. I'm working on it, folks. Walk amongst yourselves. All right, here we go. Ah, 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 got it open. Very good. Anyways, I, I love the, the artistry. You take a look, see what you think. Look at that. So we start off with Aaron Judge. Isn't that nice? Aaron Judge. Joe Jackson. That's actually one of the, the main cards of the set. It's a tribute to Joe Jackson. Not a Hall of Famer, though, so not a hit. Here's Christian Yelich. Justin Verlander, all right, two award winners in a row. That hasn't happened yet today. So that two hits right there to start off for our good friends at the Diamond Kings. Yeah, I see a rookie right here in this one pack. There's Luis Urias, rookie, J.D. Martinez. Nick Senzel, also a rookie. Is it say rookie on there, though? It does not say rookie. What is this card? I'm not familiar with these. Should be a rookie card, though. I'm going to say it's a rookie card. There's Roger Maris. That's nice. And then Kevin Newman, rookie card. That is a rookie card for Sinzel. Nowadays, you know, you wonder that the way they do the rookie cards and stuff, they get them so early. You still get guys that have like two or three cards made of them before they even hit the big leagues. It's pretty amazing. Bryce Wilson. Oh, here's the one that's turned upside down. What is it? It's just a rookie card. Danny Jansen. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. Team of Heroes. We got Jimmy Fox, Hall of Famer, and our good friend Cedric Mullins, rookie card. Very good. I'll take it. He's my friend today because it is a rookie card. It is a hit. All right. <sighs> Trying to open these packs over here. That's the sound you hear. All right. Ozzy Albies. Here's one other one that's upside down. Oh, it's an auto. Who is that? That is Jonathan Davis. An autograph. Our first auto of the day. Jonathan Davis for the Toronto Blue Jays. Very exciting. There's a hit for sure. Here's another hit right here. This is Ty Cobb, Hall of Famer. Miguel Andujar and Jake Bowers, rookie card. Boy, they are loading up, man. This They're, they're going to give a run, uh, Topps Chrome update a run right here. I can see it right now. Oh, here comes a rookie. Jeff McNeil, very nice one. Tris Speaker, another Hall of Famer. Here's Nolan Arenado. Here is Lou Gehrig. And Matt... Uh-oh. Focus. Matt Carpenter. All right, we've got two more little packs in this group. I think that they've taken the lead, I would imagine. If not, they're pretty close to tying it, or they're in the ballpark. 
Ugh, if I can just get these packs to open properly. Back in the day, we had those wax packs. They were easy to open. All right, Dakota Hudson, rookie card. Here's another one upside down. I always get excited with that. Ozzy Albies, that's a rookie. Uh, Madison Bumgarner, Charlie Keller is not a Hall of Famer that I can remember. And Aaron Nola. And where we got? We got one more. Reaching for air. I didn't have anything in front of me. There we go. Just a few more packs left. This is pack number 11. There are 16 competitors in this uh, Battle Royal. So here we go. We've got Miguel Andujar to lead things off. Jacob deGrom is a hit. Here's Luis Ortiz. This is one of those nice framed cards they have. Also a rookie card. Jake Bowers, also framed rookie card. And Salvador Perez, uh, artist proof. All right, so let's see what we got here. This, let's count up the hits. This is these are these guys did a great job. I really think that they're going to get the chrome. Let's count them together. All right, here we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen hits. They will be taking the place of Chrome. So 19 hits for our good friends at the Diamond Kings. Yeah, buddy. Don't underestimate the Diamond Kings. So now the leader is Diamond Kings. They've got 19. Who is going to be next? Number 12, Gallery is up next. Gallery is going to have 36 opportunities. So let's see how they do. Gallery, I've had a lot of rookies that I pulled from these. And we're going to be difficult as well, aren't we? There we go. Oh. I need to have a secretary open these packs up for me with sharp, sharp fingernails. All right, here we go. Lane Thomas, that's a hit. Trevor Story. Here's another hit. Ryan Helsley. I have his auto I pulled from a pack once. Betts. Here's Kevin Biggio. Very good. Miguel Andujar. Luke Voigt. There's Brian Reynolds. Nice. Roberto Clemente. That's a hit as well. Carson Kelly. Albert Pujols, future Hall of Famer, and Josh James. I'm sorry, not Josh James. Framber Valdez. I apologize. Looks like Josh James. All right, let's open up next pack. So a couple of hits out of that one. A good start for Gallery. There's three packs, so 30, 12 cards in a pack. Chris Bryant. We have Fernando Tatis. Yes, another one. Love those. Here's Tyler Taylor Ward. Sorry, Trey Mancini. Here's Vlad Jr. and Sr., there's Chris Davis, George Springer, Trey Turner, Pablo Lopez, Jacob deGrom is a hit, and Frank, or excuse me, Ramon Lariano. Very good. So, man, Gallery is really jumping up there, too. Let's see if Gallery can catch the Diamond Kings. I mean, they just got up there. Now, all of a sudden, here comes Gallery. There's uh, Sean Reed Foley with the mustache, said Mullins, Jacob Nix. Xander Bogart's had a nice year. There's Mike Yastrzemski. Nice. There's Rogers Hornsby, Hall of Famer. Salvador Perez, maybe Hall of Famer one day. Jake Cave. Oh! oh. Tony Gwynn, the man. My, the, my baseball hero right here. Tony freaking Gwynn. Very good. Definitely a hit. Should count as like five hits. Patrick Wisdom, but it doesn't. Justice Sheffield and Clayton Kershaw, future Hall of Famer. Sweet. I pulled a Tony Gwynn. I... Golly, that's awesome. Excited about that. And this is a big stack. I bet you they take the lead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 for Gallery. Diamond Kings just got up there, and then they just sat down. 21 